What do you know about cholesterol? It's a term we often hear, but do we really understand it? Well, let's break it down. Cholesterol is a waxy substance that's found in the cells of our bodies and in our blood. It's not necessarily a villain, as our bodies actually need it to function. It helps in making hormones, vitamin D, and substances that aid digestion. Now there are two main sources of cholesterol. One, our bodies, primarily the liver, produce it. And two, the food we eat. Yes, dietary choices play a crucial role here. Foods rich in saturated fats, trans fats, and cholesterol can increase our cholesterol levels. However, here's where it gets tricky. When we have too much cholesterol in our blood, it can build up on the walls of our arteries and cause problems. So, although cholesterol is necessary, it's a balancing act to ensure we don't have too much. Understanding cholesterol is the first step to managing it better. So let's embark on this journey together. Have you heard about HDL and LDL cholesterol and wondered what these abbreviations stand for? Well, let's demystify them. HDL stands for high density lipoprotein, often referred to as good cholesterol. Think of HDL as a diligent custodian, tirelessly working to remove excess cholesterol from your body and ferry it back to your liver, where it's broken down and passed out of your system. Quite the health hero, isn't it? On the other hand, LDL or low-density lipoprotein carries a bit of a bad reputation. Known as the bad cholesterol, LDL transports cholesterol to your arteries. Here's where the problem lies. If there's too much LDL cholesterol, it can stick to the walls of your arteries, building up and potentially leading to heart disease. Therefore, maintaining a healthy balance between these two types of cholesterol is key to your optimum health. Remember, it's all about balance. Not too much LDL, not too little HDL. So, what does it mean if you've been diagnosed with high cholesterol? Simply put, it indicates that there's an excess of LDL, the bad cholesterol, or insufficient HDL, the good cholesterol, coursing through your bloodstream. This imbalance can lead to the accumulation of cholesterol in your arteries, which in turn, heightens the risk of heart disease and stroke. It's a serious situation, but not without remedy. Now let's talk about managing this condition. It often comes down to lifestyle changes. A healthy diet is crucial. Opt for foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, fiber, and lean proteins. Regular exercise is another key component. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise most days of the week. If you smoke, quitting is one of the best things you can do for your heart. Managing high cholesterol often requires a change in lifestyle, but remember, it's a change for the better. Who is at risk of high cholesterol, and how can you help yourself? Well, the risk factors for high cholesterol are multifold. Age is a significant factor, with those above 20 years old having an increased likelihood. If you've got a family history of high cholesterol, you're more likely to have it too. Your diet plays a crucial role as well. Consuming saturated fats, trans fats, and cholesterol-rich foods can raise your cholesterol levels. A sedentary lifestyle with little to no exercise can also boost these levels. But don't fret. You can help yourself by making a few lifestyle changes. Include cholesterol-lowering foods in your diet like oats, fatty fish rich in omega-3, nuts, and plenty of fruits and vegetables. Regular physical activity goes a long way in maintaining healthy cholesterol levels too. And remember, regular checkups are essential to keep an eye on your cholesterol levels. Taking care of your cholesterol is taking care of your heart. So make heart-healthy choices today.